it's Wednesday morning. I'm on my way to the gym. I have a busy week this week. Um, I've got a meeting on later, then I'm going to a gig with a brand. Then uh, tomorrow, I think I've got a little event later on if I can make it. And then Friday, I've got the Style Awards. So it's all go. Um, it's going to be full makeover. But uh, i got to go to the gym for now. Yeah, hey, she looks so bedraggled. I had a bath last night. Um, so my hair's fucked. Um, I like fucked up my neck this week as well. It was so weird. I went back training last week and um, I only did like two sessions. And on Sunday, I was at this like twinge in my neck. My God, I was crippled with it on Monday, Tuesday, but it's better now. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to get into the gym. I've been like, I don't know. I've had like no routine with the gym for a long time, if I'm honest. Like, I just don't really know what to be doing. Like, obviously I get in and train with Fiona the odd time, but like, I'm just getting a little bit busier now at work so, so that like, I can't really always make it into uh, town. Cause like, from my house, it's town. It's kind of like an hour door to door, then train for an hour, then get home. That's like three hours gone in the day. Um, which is a big chunk, especially cause I usually train with her during the middle of the day. So it's kind of getting less and less uh, likely that I can do those sessions, which is unfortunate because I do enjoy them. So I'm just trying to get down to uh, Westwood more often. But at the same time, it's like, I don't really know what to be doing. Like I do my little workouts or whatever, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm just rambling. Oh, so I'm out of the gym after all my complaining. Um, I actually had a really good little session. I actually feel great after that. She just shows you really. Um, I also found out that you don't have to book in to any of the classes now in Westwood. You used to have to book in and for some reason my booking thing didn't work and like I just never have like I don't know the foresight to like book ahead. Um, now you just have to turn up 15 minutes early. So I really want to get back spinning. I used to be mad into spinning and um, when I first joined a gym back in like 2015 um, and it's just a great way to get your cardio in uh, it's a good blaster and if I can do it in the gym that's even better obviously I've been doing a few bike or ski classes which are great but I can't get a fucking class there <laughs> like it's always booked up and it's happened to me before where I've bought classes they only last for four weeks I can't get a class and I've spent 45 euro on one class <laughs> so no thanks anymore um, but yeah so gonna start doing a little bit of spin as well anyway on my way back home I've got some work to do and then we're off to a gig later. There goes my train. Hi. Hi. So I just picked up a little coffee and coke. Uh, I've got no ice at home and I need some caffeine. I've got to fucking, I have got to fucking move my ass now because on the way home I checked my nail salon I couldn't get an appointment at all this week obviously like my nails are not looking the best after holidays and I've got a fucking style of words on Friday got a last minute appointment they had nothing at the start of the weekend and they had loads of appointments today boring updates anyway I'm trying thinking of taking a risk with my nails I'll tell you more when I'm inside oh god okay so my nails um I'll show you a picture. I want like this, like kind of like white nails, but milky. Like I don't want white nails, but like I need to see if they have a powder that will do this. And I'm just like, they're really good in there, but my the girl, the manager, who's the best, I really love her. She knows like all the colors so well. She's on her honeymoon, I think at the moment, unless she's back, she could be back. She's usually really good at helping me find colors. So. Um, oh my god, a really good episode. I haven't actually spoken about Red Room in a while. A really good episode of Red Room I did today. Adam and I, um, we did, uh, we like reviewed, well reviewed, sorry. We reacted to uh, some crazy posts on Reddit. Like, guys, they're so insane. Reddit is truly like, it's one of my favorite websites of all time. Probably, I'd say my favorite website. Like I can go on Reddit and spend hours on there. Um, we speak about why we like it obviously on the podcast too. But we talk about like just some really crazy threads. Like this woman like found her husband was sniffing their baby's nappies. 
at night time sneaking out the bin and then this other woman like had this like insane revenge plan of how she was gonna get back at her boyfriend after she found out he was cheating on her and it blew up in her face just like some crazy ass shit another guy like was on lsd when the twin towers fell and he watched it and he wrote this like amazing post all about it oh my god it was so good so um you know i haven't shouted out red room in a while if you want weekly episodes we, it's basically us going down rabbit holes me going down rabbit holes we've talked about like cults conspiracy true crime all of that kind of stuff every week it's something new and um, you can go sign up and it's patreon.com forward slash red room pod just back got my nails did they had the exact oh can we focus this please they had the exact thing i wanted so this is just a powder so it's a white acrylic powder um i love it though it's nice and kind of simple very 70s it kind of looks like like the extensions, like fake nails without polish, which I love. So anyway, about to join my Zoom call. And then got a little bit of work to do before I have to fucking get ready. I need to get ready. So we're on our way to the gig now. We actually got a preview of this concert last night because it was absolutely blaring in Malahide up until like, Midnight or something like that. But yeah, it should be carnage as well. Carnage because I was walking around Malahide Village today and literally so many people were wearing killers t shirts. How fucking random. Didn't know they had such a loyal following. Be stoked, Ev, for the gig. Back to festival season. Here we come. <laughs> we're here now. Very festival vibes, I have to say. I'll show you the flags are flying. That's how you always feel like you're in a fucking festival vibe. My social battery feels drained, which is not ideal. Um, literally from just going to a gig and then we saw two of our friends last night. Oh, but we're gonna pull it together. We're gonna pull through. Um, I kind of had a bit of a freak out last night. I'm not gonna lie about my dress. I tried it on and then I was like, this dress is way more see-through than I thought. Like I knew it was gonna be semi-sheer, which I'm fine with. Um, so I need to go into uh, like, I don't know, Marks and Spencer's or something and like figure out some sort of the higher coverage underwear situation, which is fine. Like I'm actually not even, what's the word, like a prude is in like, I would genuinely wear the sheer dress, I don't give a fuck. But my fear is I don't want people thinking that I don't know, you know? I don't want to be like people thinking like, oh, wardrobe malfunction, like no, 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 we don't want that. So, um, and then I also have to collect my bag from Ashling Kavana, I'm sure you guys know her, she's an amazing designer. Um, they, uh, she's trying to get it, basically for, to me because her the shop where she's stuck I don't think they're open yet but look it's grand I'll just get a taxi to deliver it out to my house it's all good um going into Matthew and I to get my hair done and then what else am I doing underwear hair uh, I need a coffee I've known espresso pods in my house so I need to fucking get a coffee in there if I have time I'll go into an espresso and grab some as well and then leg it home because we have to be on the red carpet for around half six uh it's half eleven now my hair's at one I have to drive in, drive home, you know, it takes a fuck a minute to get there, so. How does it go? How are you? Got the awkward minute when you're trying to get some B roll and your neighbor catches you vlogging. <laughs> Let's get in the motherfucking car and go. I definitely need to get um, a little stand for my camera. Don't worry, I'm not gonna drive into town with you on my dashboard. I need some good playlists because I don't have any good playlists as of lately. Um, but I am listening to this podcast called Unreal, A Critical History of Reality TV. Roz recommended it and it's really, really good. So I think, that's my dash cam. I do think I'm going to, oh shit, did I forget my wallet? We've made it into town in an hour. It's, oh, it's 10 to one. Shit, I have to go get my hair done. 
was like, I got in an hour, I didn't. It took me way longer. I've obviously also been sitting here on Instagram for a while. So Matthew's doing my hair at one. Then I'm gonna have to run into Dunn's or somewhere else like that and buy some sort of underwear situation. Um, but yes, let's go get. I'm getting. I'm doing, wearing my hair up, which for me it's just very different like i always wear my hair down for events like it's like a little security blanket i think anyone who has long hair probably feels that way as well for this one for this dress because my dress is kind of like it's backless and it has a slit up the side and see-through sounds a little bit too much hopefully it's not <laughs> um i was like i think just a slick bella hadid you know up and off my face moment um and then i'll do i'm doing my own makeup as i said so let's go get my hair done <laughs> I'm grabbing us coffee in industry if you're wondering that's where i like to get my coffee in town look at their pastries it looks so good yeah <laughs> slay 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 her her hair is done uh, so now i have to go really quickly to be honest pick up evan's suit first and then last i'll do that last underwear my try get some nail polish. I don't even have my toes done. Um, to drive home. We got this. Okay, we have three different types of underwear, and now I just have to go pay and get uh, what did I get? Nail polish and Evan's suit. Okay, so that's everything done. I think it's early enough as well. Um, I'm just gonna have to drive like not touching the <laughs> the seat on the car because I'm really afraid I'm gonna fuck up my hair so maybe I don't think it, it feels so secure. I'm actually like so delighted I got my hair up because I don't have to worry about it falling and it's like kind of like misty and rainy outside so I'm like the hair gods were looking after me today. Green things like nice like you say that drink green. Right okay. <laughs> I didn't know you blow dried your hair. Yeah but I don't this is not a blow dryer. This is a hair dryer. Yeah, exactly the same shit. Joey later releases a single, Ream, and a book, Rain. Being Ream. Nice tips as well. Nice tips. This it's podcast is so good. I've noticed yeah. there's no one sunbathing topless, and I really thought everyone would have their tits out. Like, you know, like, same tits, so what way? I would. Who would tell us apart? Even their tattoos have to have a great back. I want to get me, show me tattoos off and get big, but, uh, uh pin up girl on the back of me legs. Pin up girl. Uh, got big teeth. Big ones, big teeth. Has it? Has it? So Many of the women. Okay, we are nearly ready. I did my own makeup. I'll show you my inspo pic. Yes, it was Bella Hadid. So, uh, as you can tell, we've got our hair. Makeup is pretty much done, 90% done. House is in bits. So, if you saw any of this, you didn't. Um, Evan's gone off somewhere. I don't know where the fuck he's gone. Probably collecting something from the dry cleaner or something. Um, my dress, or no, not my dress, my bag. Oh, I had such a fucking... Nightmare, we're trying to get my bag. Um, trying to get a fucking taxi to pick it up off Ashling. Um, and Ashling, the legend that she is, walked those mean streets of Dublin city center and we got a taxi and the bag is on its way. It's like 20 minutes away and the minute I get the bag, then we can go. I'm not dressed yet, obviously. We have to go pick up Courtney. Um, but I'm just about to finish my makeup. Do we like? I'll show you, actually. Let me show you the inspo pic. So this room, oh God, everything is in bits. Everything's in bits. There's so much mess everywhere, but let me see. Here's my inspo pic. So this was the inspo. Nice dark uh, liner. I've got the sticky uppy bits of my hair. Um, I didn't use this pic for Matthew or anything, but I just kind of love this look that she wore. Is my interpretation of said look. Obviously you have to kind of fine tune these things for your own face, you know what I mean? You can't be going around. I don't have Bella Hadid's face, if only. Um, also bought some tit tip because fucking dress tape, tit tape, shapewear, all that kind of stuff is how the, the look co really comes together. I've learned through years of not doing those things. So I'm gonna, I've got like proper fucking like boob tape, like it looks like masking tape um, or like kind of more like surgical tape. And it literally like will act as a bra and keep my tits in place. And then this I will use, cause it's a cowl neck and this will I, I'll use to like basically glue the dress to me. Um, you have to do these things. Well, I'm gonna put on my lashes, which I'm not used to doing. I never do this, but we're gonna just whack on a few individuals just for a little bit of volume, put on mascara, finish my lip, and then I'm pretty much ready. My bag is here. 
My bag arrived. I got a really cute little Ashton cabinet bag. Elle's mad for sniffing it. <laughs> uh, just a plain black one because my shoes are yellow. My dress is obviously green. So I just wanted something simple. She sent me little bits of flowers. So she's an Irish designer, guys. If you're looking for some, re she does cute scrunchies too. And beautiful little bags. So we're suited and booted, Ev. Swagged out. Swagged out. We're ready for the wedding, yeah. Gorgeous. Hello, today's Sunday. Uh, yesterday, not gonna lie, spent a lot of the day in bed nursing my hangover. Didn't even actually drink like that much, I don't feel, but was definitely hungover. Um, I probably didn't eat enough when I was there. That was probably my main problem. But we had great fun. It was really fun to go. Like, obviously, um, like on my old podcast, we used to do like a fashion run rundown of that event a lot. Um, so it was so fun to actually go and get dressed up, even though like, I don't think I like slay, slay, slayed. Um, like some people did. I don't know. I just, I still haven't like nailed what like that, like red carpet, like how to integrate my own personal style with that. Um, and I guess like, I guess to me really like, I kind of know my place in those situations, right? Like I'm obviously invited as a guest of VIPs, um, Ev does a lot of work for them, all that kind of stuff. I'm not being invited because I am a known fashion icon <laughs> in Ireland. So for me, I was like, oh, I'll just turn up and look good. But I would like someday if I get to go to one of these events that actually like, I'll have to ask Courtney or something maybe to help me and help style me and find something like that's a bit more like, oh shit, that looks good, you know? But um, my my style is my style. I do feel is quite casual. I like to be casual. I like to be comfortable. So I never really fe fully feel myself in those situations. Like I never feel like, uh, like I don't know, fully comfortable in like a floor length dress. But I did. You know, what? I actually really liked my look. Um, I loved my hair and makeup the most. And uh, even when I went to the Stellar Awards last year as well, I felt more and more comfortable in situations like that. They're funny, you know, because I didn't get any footage there because you do get a bit of social anxiety there, right? You're like in people who are like semi in my industry, like I guess there's overlap, you know, it's all, I guess, kind of loosely the entertainment industry in Ireland, but I'm on like a smaller scale and probably a more like independent scale. Like, whereas a lot of those people who have kind of transcended and maybe become more so TV personalities and, um, you know, transcended from just being like influencers into more like business moguls. There's obviously a lot of models there. Um, I always find it so funny how Ireland has such a like intrinsic relationship with models. Like we love models, don't we? Anyway, that's a conversation for a different day. Um, I did find myself when I was there, like to be completely vulnerable, hashtag vulnerable, I'm real with you guys. You know, I did find myself kind of, not second guessing myself at all, um, but I was kind of like, fuck, like should I be aiming to be like acknowledged by awards like this, right? Because I think award shows like this, they, they are a way of kind of, you probably do feel validated in it, even if it is just for like best look or whatever, like that they're obviously fashion awards. Uh, the uh, stellar ones that I went to were more like social media and stuff awards. Um, so you do get a, a level of validation there and you know, it, it's obviously external, but it also probably does feel quite nice to like win something like that and have these small kind of notches. There's not many like standardized uh, achievements other than like financial or money or number level not mo money more so like follower numbers and stuff that you get in my industry and um, so it's either like I do find like in Ireland it's either like get something kind of ticked off by RTE which is fine obviously national broadcaster big deal um, or like even like the followers thing, it's like no one's really looking at anyone else's followers other than you, your own, you know? Like no one's like, oh my God, did you see that? Like the two Johnny, like, you know what I mean? Like no one's like counting someone's followers. And if they are, it's kind of a weird thing to do for other people. Like I couldn't tell you how much followers half the people that I know in the industry have, like, you know? So even though you might celebrate those little milestones, I guess it's nice to be in a room of peers and get like that validation. Um, but I did, as I said, I was, I was like, oh, should I be worrying about this? And then I don't really think I should be because I think that what I am trying to do is just like 
stay in my own lane, pursue my own interests, not get bogged down into looking for a very specific type of validation, which is celebrated in the Irish industry. And again, like I'm not coming, I'm not saying that in a like, oh, I'm above or below or whatever. I just think it's like, I'm trying, I'm not trying to be different, but I'm just trying to like express myself in my own way. And if people resonate with that, then I'm happy, you know, and trying to get validation internally and from my own audience is the most important thing to me because I do find that in the past in like whatever project I've had or even just fleeting throughout the years whenever I've been looking for like external validation from maybe like gossip websites which was like a, a probably a bigger thing for me like maybe two years ago or external validation from like haters or even just my peers like just trying to get the, that validation correct um but I think those part those uh, award shows do kind of make you question they can make you question yourself at least personally anyway I think anyone would be lying if there was people there who weren't nominated were like mm, should I want to be nominated and then I just have to like guess check myself and I'm like hey my audience are not the VIP audience that's not a shade again it's just a fact um B like I'm not uh I don't really fit into that box of like fashion person you know um and C it doesn't even matter like at the end of the day like external validation you can get external validation from anywhere and i think we all are looking for it in some way or form in some shape or form um i guess like an industry validation is like sometimes can feel like a bigger achievement but i can get industry validation in different ways you know um but yeah sorry that's just a bit of a ramble but what i actually wanted to come on and say um and it ties into this is I have been nearly doing my YouTube now for a year. I started my YouTube a little bit after my podcast. I've nearly been doing my podcast a year as well, which is crazy. And YouTube for me was always something that I wanted to do, but I told myself like no one would care or like it could be cringe, um, all these kind of things. Always talking kind of negatively to myself about why I shouldn't do something even though I wanted to do, some do it, which kind of makes no sense. Um, and I'm so glad I did it because it actually is probably one of my biggest platforms. Uh, not follower wise, but like for the amount of people that watch and for how long my videos can be, like, uh, you know, like I think, I think I'm doing really well on YouTube and um, I really enjoy it. So I wanted to, over the past few months, I've been saving up some PR, hold on. Obviously, within my job, I'm quite lucky that I can get given products from brands. So uh, I have a box here because sometimes they are very, very generous and send too much for one person to ever be able to use. So I saved up a load of it and I wanted to give uh, someone who watches my YouTube a, a chance to win it all. Um, just as a way to say thank you. I've just been like reflecting on my YouTube journey uh, over the past while. I think I've done like 32 videos now or something similar, if not more. Um, it's over 30 anyway. I've been pretty much consistent every week, bar a week here or there and yes so someone will get all of this i'll show i'll give you i can't show you everything that's in it because it's kind of rammed but i'll give you a little brief uh, overview so this book i was actually sent and i really enjoyed this book good vibes good life i think that you guys probably would too so that's in there i've got some tan from bondi sands and a razor i've got some bear by vogue products as well i've got mugler perfume um i've got luna by lisa Bondi Skin, some of their new Bondi Skins, Bondi Sands uh, skincare range, Luna by Lisa makeup, like we've got loads of shit in here, Lo honestly so much, lip pencils, like there's really like so much shit in here. If you want to win this, if you would like to win this, just comment below this video, leave me a nice comment, it can be anything. Um, you have to make sure you're subscribed to YouTube, so subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow my Instagram. That's all I ask, the comment can be anything, but obviously, you know, if you're catching my eye, I might, you know, remember your name a little bit more. And I'm gonna announce the winner of the video in next week's vlog. Thank you all for watching my vlog once again, and thank you if you tune in every week. Uh, you are the people that I do look for validation from the most. <laughs> 
Um, and I hope you all have a great week and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.